Title. Echoes of Laughter. It was the first snow of December when collage students Ella, Mark, and Jenna decided to explore Crestwood Theme Park, long since abandoned and closed to the public. Whispers circulated through the campus about a former mascot named Buster the Bear, who vanished one fateful night. The story intrigued Ella, who had a knack for uncovering supernatural tales, while Mark, her adventurous boyfriend, thought it was the perfect chance to prove they were brave enough to face any hauntings. Jenna, always one to follow, reluctantly agreed, though she felt an uneasy chill at the thought. As they climbed the old, rusted gate, the wind howled through the skeletons of rides. Overgrown grasses brushed against their ankles as they stepped onto the park's tattered asphalt, illuminated only by the weightless light of the full moon. The laughter of children once echoed through here, but now only silence remained, punctuated by the creaking of fading attractions. Their destination was the old mascot auditorium, a decaying structure that housed costumes, puppets, and relics of childhood glee. Look, Jenna said, pointing to a cracked window, Buster used to live here. Quote, inside, a suffocating darkness wrapped around them. Ella fished out her flashlight, raising beams that danced far across dusty floors littered with scraps of polyester fur and sequins. A forgotten world began to take shape, featuring remnants of cartoonish joy now tarnished by neglect and time. As they wandered, Ella felt the hairs on the back of her neck raise, an unsettling whisper brushing past her ears. You guys ever think these old mascots are, still here? Like they're waiting? It's just a costume, Mark scoffed, but as laughter echoed faintly through the air, he hesitated. It wasn't their laughter. Moments later, the trio stumbled upon a massive, dusty curtain. Ella, ever the curious one, pulled it aside. What lay beyond sent chills down their spines. Animated figures of past mascots were frozen in time, pale and lifeless against the stage backdrop. They observed wear and tear, but from their tattered smiles, a remnant of happiness fought against the decay. I need a picture, Jenna said, stepping forward. But the moment she reached for her phone, a hollow laughter filled the room, sending icy tendrils wrapping around their hearts. The air grew heavy, thick with a sense of foreboding. Suddenly, one of the figures, a clown with jagged teeth, jerked slightly. The light flickered and Ella jumped back, her heart racing. Did you see that? Before they could respond, Buster the bear's eyes opened, dark and empty like the void. It turned, its stitched smile stretching impossibly wide, revealing row upon row of sharp, glistening teeth. Guests! It roared, a mechanical voice layered with something terrifyingly alive. The other mascots awoke, their bodies transforming from mere costumes to warped, ghastly figures. Their laughter turned into menacing shrieks as they lunged at the students. Ella screamed, run. The three turned toward the exit, but an army of mascots flooded into the narrow corridor behind them, blocking their only escape. Mark sprinted left, Jenna right, with Ella hesitating, torn by a fear that gripped her. Just in front of Buster, she stumbled, falling forwards. She barely rolled out of the way as the bear crashed to the ground beside her, its mass sending dust clouds into the air. Suddenly, exhaustion sank into her limbs. But she forced herself to rise, accidentally colliding with a teetering cupcake mascot that reached for her with terrifyingly sticky hands. Why don't you play with us? Buster taunted, rising to its feet with hollow eyes fixed on her. Squinting through the haze, Ella spotted a fire extinguisher propped in a corner. Over here, she shouted, her voice barely audible above the raucous screams of their pursuers. She sprinted toward it, adrenaline surging as she wrapped her hands around the cold metal. With a prayer, she pressed the lever, spraying foam in an arctic froth. The mascots recoiled, wailing in fury. No more fun. Fueled by fear, Ella rushed to Mark and Jenna, yelling, this way. Through the exhilarating chaos, they managed to break through the throng of creatures, only to find themselves in a once cheerful carnival game hall. The faint sound of the theme song rang eerily, growing louder with each step they took. As they dashed out of the hall, the mascots regrouped, forming a wall of color and horror, grotesque smiles still stretching across wooden faces. Let's make some memories, Buster roared, a scream of rage and sorrow blending as they lunged across the threshold. With nowhere left to go, a sudden burst of bravery overwhelmed Ella. It's just costumes, 
You're not real, she yelled, surprisingly loud in the cacophony of nightmares. The mascots halted. For a flickering moment, the air felt electric with possibility. They hesitated and began to withdraw slightly, their malice faltering. Remember when you used to laugh? Echoed Jenna, clutching Ella's shoulder. Don't you want to play? The chaos ceased, just for a moment. Buster's eyes, although dark, flickered with something ethereal. Flickers of forgotten joy, scraps of innocent laughter. Then, out of the shadows, Ella's flashlight illuminated their disintegration, slowly dissipating into clouds of fabric and stuffing, unleashing the echoes of childlike glee that once inhabited them. As dawn broke across the horizon, the remnants of Crestwood theme park transformed into quaint memories of laughter. It was dawn, and now the mascots were gone, leaving behind nothing but fading laughter in the wind. The trio emerged shaken yet grateful. As they exited the gates, the echoes of laughter faded into silence, leaving them forever changed, with a chilling realization. Sometimes childhood fears come alive, and confronting them might just save you from the darkness lurking in forgotten places.